Okay, great. Well, hello, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Um, I have a very technical uh, group of speakers here today. Um, I have folks representing CERTIC, and I also have Joe Tum, who joins us, who is one of many of the uh, CTOs of the Cubic Network. One of the great things about Cubic is we have many different roles and many different hats and many different CTOs. Uh, and today, though, specifically, we're going to be talking about a speed test we did with CERTIC. I'm going to actually start off with uh, the CERTIC folks, if you could just tell us a little bit about CERTIC uh, and the methodologies that you use for performance speed testing, that'd be a great start. So CERTIC, uh, we are the leading Web3 smart contract auditor. We provide a comprehensive suite of services such as security audits, L1 chain audits, penetration text testing, team verification, bug bounties, incident response, and so on. And uh, Ming, you can tell us about a little bit about the methodology used for the performance test. Okay, I will hand over to this part about the methodology. We conduct the performance analysis over the cubic layer one uh, blockchain mainnet. Uh, it starts from February the 12th to the April the first, and we focused on the uh, about the below uh, four parts. The first, we evaluating high volume transaction handling, and then we measuring throughput, response time, and latency about the network. Then we were determine the average and maximum uh, TPS uh, for this uh, for this work, and we have also performance stress testing and their sustained and the recognized nodes on the work to evaluate and to make the optimal performance result from this work. And about the approach, uh, we first initial testing on the cubic test net to establish some benchmarks. Then we can evaluate uh, how to proceed on the main net. And uh, then we were follow to take the final evaluation uh, on the mainnet. Uh, it's based on a custom uh, testing framework built around Cubic CRI, enabling the real-time TIC and the TPS monitoring, and also a single instance sequential and uh, stochastic stress in testing. And we have also obtained the, the detailed log and the telemetry output with per tick TPS breakdowns. After that, we have set up the, the tool chain for this performance analysis. Yeah, I think this is the methodology we conduct uh, over the cubic layer one blockchain mainnet. Very cool. So actually I'd like to get into the findings because I think that's what everyone wants to hear. And and then I'm going to pass it over to Joe Tom to talk about why you know why he thinks this research is so important and what it unlocks for Cubic. But um, Ming, do you want to discuss the findings? Yeah, we have take the for example for the five minutes test duration over the Cubic Lay One mainnet, and we can find the result that uh, the peak TPS reached to. Uh, to about 15 million uh, per tick. And this is the TPS of, of the peak that we can see as a high record on this uh, industry. And the average TPS is also very, uh, very high. It's reached to up to uh, two, 2 million uh, TPS. Yeah. And, uh, and we have perform the transfer during this five minutes is reached about 782 millions of transfers during these five minutes. Yes, I think this, uh, this results uh, make a solid uh, a proof to this uh, record. Yeah. Okay, so the fastest in history. Joe Tom, I'm going to pass it over to you. What does that mean? What does that mean to Cubic and why is it important? Thank you very much, Jen. For me, it's the, the most important thing that a, a, a third party 
uh, entity was looking into what Cubic is doing. So basically, they uh, Certic got the got the assignment to to write a test framework and to run the tests first against the testnet and then against the mainnet. So what is for for me the cool things are like hey we we just gave them the documentation and said here try and it worked. So that means that <clears throat> firstly if 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 a third party is able to connect to Cubic and to do a test framework without further deep technical intervention from our side, that at least the documentation works. That, that's one, one, of, one of the good things. So the, the effort we did in the, in the past uh, few months to write the documentation it, it is working. Then for me, it's, it's, it's another thing that having the, let's say the, the amount of, of TPS it is so high as as we expected. I mean, we had uh, we had like tests. I mean, there there is this number of these fifty five million uh, transactions per second in the room, which was done in in a in a in a dedicated test net. Like I, I don't know, maybe one one point five year ago, and this was in a in a in a, in, a, in a isolated environment, so not really running on the network directly. So having now real numbers for the network audited by not us, by a third party uh, entity makes it very worthful for us or for me, let's say, because mm -hmm. it, um, yeah, it shows us up what Cubic is capable. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about the, the, the audit report I saw, but I read there some, some sentence like, hey, um, and please correct me, uh, guys, if I'm wrong. But I read it like we we say that the cubic network is a stable network. It can handle a huge load of of traffic, and this was confirmed by this audit. And that there is even potential for grow or for optimization in the future. So that's what I read out of the report. Yeah, so this is from 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 the auditing, which which makes me happy to see these results. And for, for me, having working with Certic, um, is that it's like a partnership, which maybe we can also follow in the future. So one of the goals, of course, is as soon as the cubic core is more or less, I mean, it will never be finished. The, the developers always work; they will never finish their work. Let's be honest. But as soon as we can say the protocol is more or less implemented and it's more or less finished, I guess maybe we can also do further auditing, security audits, or, or let's let's say things like this. So having a partner for the future makes sense to me. So basically, this is my are my learnings or or whatever. Yeah, that's great. And um, yeah, quickly. Uh, still just on with you, what does this, you know, from uh, from people who are new to the network and don't understand the difference between blockchain and tick chain and all that kind of stuff, what does this, what does this actually unlock from like a real world use case? That's really hard. I mean, that's what we, what we actually do. So the real world use cases can mean that Cubic is able to handle a huge amount of load. So mm -hmm. everything which needs a chain which is stable, which is strong, which can handle a huge amount of load, uh, every application could run on Cubic. So that's basically the idea. There were things in the room like, hey, uh, like stable coins, because they mm -hmm. need they need uh, they need a, a proper base to run on. So that could be a use case. Um, there are even other things like. Uh, I don't know, integrating for, uh, <laughs> it's just, that's just not just my opinion, like for shopping systems or other things. I don't know where, where, where you have a huge mm -hmm. amount of, of things. And yeah, what it really will be in the future, we will see. No, fair enough. That's good. I have lots of questions. I'm glad others do too, because it seems like the, the possibilities, possibilities are limitless right now. Um, and people do want to say things like DeFi or decentralized compute and all that. But yeah, I agree. We, the future's yet to be written on that one. I guess in closing, I've heard rumor that um, Certic might be spinning up a cubic node. 
Is there any other type of partnership around that besides future um, testing uh, that you want to share? Or shall we just leave that as a question mark and close it for another day? I think we can leave that as a question mark for now. <laughs> okay, <Sorry>. perfect. <laughs> Let's leave them hanging. It's a good teaser. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Well, um, I think that closes the discussion. I want to thank everyone for joining today on our day of launch. Um, we're all very excited and appreciate all of the work that all these teams did. It's been a privilege for marketing to support getting uh, the news out there. So thank you all. Thank you very much for the invite. Have a great Thank day. You.